Well, <laughs> bringing the Christmas season in, always a good time. Yes. Now, Santa has had a tough time the last week, I'd say. He's yeah. trying to get around anywhere here or Southern California, for instance. He's had to navigate around some, some funky systems here. Yeah, a really tough day. Last couple of days, really, in Southern California. An abundance of rain in San Diego. And here, snow for the higher elevations. Uh, you may have uh, heard of the grapevine, I-5, uh, going basically from Los Angeles up and over the Tehachapi's and then down into Bakersfield. It's a common route for lots of folks. I mean, like hundreds of thousands of people. It was shut down today because of this snow. At one point, uh, California Highway Patrol was actually leading folks down the highway, and then it just got so bad they just had to stop doing it. Um, that uh, Tejon Pass is right around 4,000 to 4,500 feet, so it really does climb way up there. Uh, but uh, like our passes, you know, some roads are a little bit better than others, and finally they did reopen that. Remember this from about two days ago, Siskiyou Summit? It takes you right into California. Um, it, of course, has been reopened since uh, the last two days. But looking at road conditions, just want to let you know, it's open. You don't have any snow on the roadway itself, but you do have some icicles right there on the camera lens <laughs> over to Timberline. It's 17 degrees. We've been holding on to that temperature now for, I'd say, the last three to four hours. We'll see those low temperatures in the mountains drop down into the lower teens. By tomorrow morning over to Mount Hood Meadows, same temperature. Look at that. You can see how much work they've been doing getting ready for their preview day starting tomorrow, lasting through the weekend. Hey, who knows? Hopefully they'll keep on staying open after this weekend. We will have to wait and see right now. Your conditions in downtown Portland. Look at that. The white stag has a red nose now. That's pretty cool to see with the Portland sign. Uh, looking at your temperature, it's 38 degrees right now. Wind out of the east at about 13 miles per hour. Dew point 20. Sunrise time tomorrow morning, 728. Let's look at those temperatures. The coldest numbers right now in the valley <laughs> down towards Eugene, Salem, 30 and 31. We're still at 38 though. Vancouver, 36 Newport and 27 for you, the Dalles. The next few days dominated by an offshore flow here. We're dry through tomorrow. But then Saturday, it's a different day. Saturday, we wait for that area of low pressure to make its way on shore. So this takes us to 630 uh, sat Saturday afternoon. Now we're talking about changing some rain over to perhaps a little bit of snow. So what does it look like here? OK, so maybe you're down at Civil War for the day in Eugene and you're looking at rain for end of game time. But the surrounding hills will likely run into some snow and certainly plenty of it for the Cascades. But look at how sparse it is. There's just not a lot of moisture associated with that area of low pressure. So it'll be bringing some snow, but not much to measure, certainly in the foothills, perhaps one to two inches possible for the mountains. And this is the kind of snow that isn't going to be shutting down freeways. It's going to be a very light variety. Let's take a look at those uh, totals as we get on through the weekend. Initially, we'll see some snow come up from the southeast. And then the area of low pressure I was showing you, this will bring up those totals to anywhere from about one to two and a half inches for the Cascades. Not much to speak of, though, right around Grants Pass, perhaps up to a half inch of snow. Daytime highs tomorrow at the coast, looking at maxing out right around 44 to 45 degrees. Morning temperatures, yes, will be <laughs> below freezing too. upper 20s inland valley temps tomorrow. We'll get you down to about 21 McMinnville, Salem, a high of 43, though. Plenty of sunshine. Central Oregon, your overnight temperatures are dropping down into the single digits. Daytime highs, not even hitting 30. Pendleton up to 30. Hood River 20, then up to 37. Government Camp, a high of 29. Here's your seven day forecast. So yeah, cold mornings for sure. But look at that. Next Tuesday, we get up to 50 degrees. With a little sunshine. There you go. Yay. Proof that it's all relative. Yes. <laughs> and some good sunshine on Friday tomorrow too. Oh, tomorrow's going to be great. Even though it'll be cold, it'll just be brilliant. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks, Natasha. Sure. All right, coming up.